methotrexate a drug with multiple clinical uses methotrexate can act as anti metabolite so it can be used in one of the condition like cancer where it acts as an anti metabolite and few of the cancers like the lung cancer and breast cancer and other cancers methotrexate can be used and it is also used as a demod disease modifying anti rheumatic drug so it is used in the treatment of the rheumatoid arthritis and methotrexate can also have some anti inflammatory action so it can be used in the few of the conditions like the psoriasis as well as the crohn's disease in this way methotrexate is one of the drug which is having the multiple clinical uses so now let us see how methotrexate acts in all these clinical settings so let us see the structure of methotrexate methotrexate is having a large structure with three important components first important moiety is the glutamic acid so glutamic acid is a dicarboxylic acid with alpha amino group we can count the carbons here so this is the 1 2 3 4 5 and five. so it is a five carbon dicarboxylic acid with alpha amino group that is the glutamic acid and another important uh, moiety present in the methotrexate is the pteridine ring system so pteridine ring system is a fused ring system with four nitrogens so we can start the numbering of this pteridine ring system from the nitrogen of this uh, pyrimidine so 1 2 3 4 1 on. we can see that here the two important groups amino groups are present at the second and fourth position so what are the moiety present in this methotrexate is the 2,4 diamino pteridine ring system and we can also observe the third important moiety in this methotrexate is the paba para amino benzoic acid moiety we can observe that here the carboxylic acid is present at the first position and the amine group is present at the fourth position of this benzene ring in this way it is a para amino benzoic acid analog with methyl group substitution on the nitrogen so these are the three components present in the methotrexate and methotrexate can show its activity by conversion of its polyglutamates so this glutamic acid can be polymerized so then it converted into polyglutamates these polyglutamates are active and they show their action on the folic acid utilization how it is related with the folic acids just we have seen the structure of uh, methotrexate but is there any relation with the structure of methotrexate and folic acid so if we see the structure of folic acid it is also somewhat similar with the structure of the methotrexate and again we can give the numbering 1 2 3 4 and we can observe that what are the group at the fourth position is different from the methotrexate so here the group is the hydroxyl group in the methotrexate the group at the fourth position is the nh2 amino group so that is a one of the difference of the folic acid structure from the methotrexate and and the difference is that the nitrogen here in the folic acid is having no methyl group but methyl group is present in the methotrexate so these are the only two modifications on the structure of the folic acid so methotrexate is a structural relative of the folic acid that's why it is having its action that is related to the folic acid utilization in the body how methotrexate acts so methotrexate as already we have seen it acts as an anti metabolite so folic acid is going to be converted into folic acid polyglutamates which are the active form of the folic acid which then bind to one of the important enzyme dihydrofolate reductase enzyme which converts the folic acid into the tetrahydrofolic acid and methotrexate because of the structural similarity with the folic acid it is also converted into methotrexate polyglutamates and then it again it binds to the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme but here it inhibits the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme activity 
In this way, methotrexate acts as an antifolate. Folic acid polyglutamates are converted into dihydrofolic acid polyglutamates by one of the important enzyme, dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. And then this dihydrofolic acid polyglutamate is converted into tetrahydrofolic acid polyglutamate form again by the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase enzyme. So dihydrofolate reductase enzyme is a key enzyme that converts the folic acid into tetrahydrofolic acid. Now this tetrahydrofolic acid in the polyglutamate form can combine with the one carbon unit then it can convert the DUMP into the DTMP the deoxyuridine monophosphate into the deoxythymidine monophosphate. In this way, folic acid is converted to tetrahydrofolic acid and utilized in the synthesis of the thymidine, which is then incorporated into the DNA. Now, methotrexate can again be converted into methotrexate polyglutamate form, which is the active form of the methotrexate. Then it can inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme at the two steps, thereby it inhibits the conversion of the folic acid into the tetrahydrofolic acid. By this way, the methotrexate acts as an anti-metabolite. How it is given? Methotrexate can be given by oral route, otherwise by intravenous route. So oral route, it can be given as a tablets and as well as the solution. And the dose of the methotrexate is 10 to 25 mg per week for psoriasis. So in case of psoriasis, the drug is given one dose per week. And it can also be given as a 7.5 mg per week for the rheumatoid arthritis. And in case of cancer, high doses are given, which are not given by weekly, they can be given daily for treatment of the cancer. Side effects. The common side effects of methotrexate are nausea and vomiting, gastric pain, loss of hair, and it also produces one set of side effects which are commonly called as megaloblastic anemia. So megaloblastic anemia is a side effect because of the deficiency of the folic acid. So the symptoms include loss of appetite, difficulty in breathing, and dizziness in the patients. So this megaloblastic anemia is because of the folic acid deficiency. And other side effects of methotrexate include the blood in the urine and dark stools and irregular heartbeats. So in few of the patients, the loss of blood in the urine as well as in the fishes can be observed with the high dose of the methotrexate. Crystalluria and renal damage caused by the methotrexate. So methotrexate can be converted into its metabolite 7 hydroxy methotrexate. Normally methotrexate is less soluble in the urine because of the less water solubility. When it is converted to 7 hydroxy methotrexate, it is still less soluble compared with the methotrexate. Now both methotrexate and its metabolite are less soluble in the urine and they can precipitate one of the condition crystalluria, formation of the crystals in the urine. So this, when it is untreated, may cause some renal damage in the long-term treatment. So in order to prevent this crystalluria, the patient should take the large amounts of the water so that the crystals can be dissolved. And sometimes we can also use the urinary alkanizers like the sodium citrate to dissolve the what are the crystals formed by the methotrexate. Finally, the effect of the methotrexate on the pregnancy. So methotrexate is one of the drug which can induce the abortion. So it is generally given with the drug mesoprostol. Mesoprostol is a prostaglandin analog. So methotrexate plus mesoprostol can be used to induce the abortion and for medical termination of the pregnancy. And in case of any ectopic pregnancy, methotrexate plus mesoprostol combination can be given. But normally when it is given in the pregnant woman, it is teratogenic, so it is contraindicated in the pregnancy. So methotrexate is one of an anti-metabolite 
which shows the multiple actions and its main action is to inhibit the conversion of the folic acid into the tetrahydrofolic acid. It is mainly used as an anti-cancer agent as well as it can be used in the treatment of the rheumatoid arthritis as a disease modifying anti-rheumatic drug and it can also be used in the other conditions like the psoriasis and Crohn's disease. Apart from its inhibition on the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme, methotrexate is also having some anti-inflammatory and immunomodulatory actions which is responsible for the multiple clinical use of the methotrexate. 